walk you through our facility and show you some of the great things the News and Loving House community has to offer. Hello. Um, so now we're in the hall for the Loving House. So the Loving House houses 30 residents of all undergraduate class years, from first year students to seniors. Um, and if you walk down the hallway, you will notice that we have something called pods. And pods are clusters of student rooms that are inclusive of one to two single rooms and a bathroom. Um, and if you come in here, you can check to see if the bathroom's available. Looks like it is. And what's really great about the Music and Loving House bathrooms is that you are able to be in the bathroom without anybody even knowing that you're here. So we have one toilet, which you're able to close and lock yourself in. Two sinks, where you're able to store some items in the cubbies. And then a shower that is completely private from top to bottom, so nobody even knows that you're there. This bathroom makes for a completely great gender inclusive space for those of you who are looking for a more private area depending on what your needs and desires are. So now that I've showed you one of our bathrooms, I'm super excited to show you what some of our student rooms look like. So Loving House came to be beginning this past August in August 2018 and that was our first year open. So right here you can find a double student room. Um, as you can see, it's a very spacious room. Each resident will get a bed, a desk, a drawer. There's a mirror in each room for the most part, a desk lamp, and their own closet. Um, this is one of the many reasons that people are very excited to be placed into the Museum Loving House community. And if you're living on the east side of the building where Loving House is placed, you get a great view of the north campus residential expansion project, um, which is super exciting. All right, so now that I've showed you a double room, I'm really excited to show you what some of our single rooms look like. Um, as I've said before, the Muse and Loving House community is really interesting because Muse Hall is a first year building that also encompasses a program house, which is known as Loving House. Um, we have 280 students overall, with 30 students being in the Loving House and 250 students living in our first year community. So if you take a step in over here, you'll find this single room. As you can see, it has everything that you would have in a double room except for one person. Um, it's really spacious, which is great. Um, I suggest raising your bed up this way so you can store some stuff under there. You have a nice study area as well as somewhere to um, put your belongings in. Again, you have the same walk-in closet. I do urge you to know that there is a sprinkler in your closet, so we will have to inspect your closets during fire inspections at least once a year. So now I'm going to show you some of our common spaces. Coming up to my left is a lounge that we call the Loving House Lounge. Um, it is a space that's completely dedicated to the Loving House. And a lot of the items that are in here were donated by Kugula, which is an alumni organization that's associated with supporting LGBTQ plus students and alum alike. Um, we worked on a truly successful crowdfunding project, which allowed us to get things like this amazing giraffe painting and our lending library. Um, so our lending library is just what you think it might be. Find a book, read it, and then bring it back. Um, we have books that range from nonfiction to some self-care books and things like that. Most, if not all of the books, are themed based off of the LGBTQ experience. Um, yeah, so this is a really great resource that we've been able to provide our students. So you're probably interested in some of the programming opportunities that we offer our residents. So the Loving House community is truly a family. Um, so we do a lot of different programs that promote the growth and development of our program as well as 
developing the Loving House community into a safe place for students who belong in the LGBTQ plus and ally community to come together and find a place of hope and acceptance. Um, we're very lucky to have some amazing faculty and community members um, involved in our program. So we have two faculty members, Karen and Masha, and they are live off faculty who engage with the Loving House community all the time. Then we also have a faculty in residence. Her name is Lori Leonard, and she actually lives on the west side of the building and is able to engage with both Loving House students and new students alike. So as you can see here, this is our TV lounge. Um, again, there are some more couches with pillows, a nice TV, a painting, and fun fact, we have a spiral staircase, and it's the only spiral staircase that is accessible for students who are in public communities. Super excited to now show you one of our largest programming spaces in Mies Hall. This is known as our One East Lounge or the Blue Study Lounge. And this space is great because it's inclusive of a large um, whiteboard, a large TV, lots of couches, and study space for our students. Most of the programs, both in the Mies and Loving House community, come here and gather at least once a week. So if you go through this lounge, you're able to go to one of our two laundry rooms. Um, our laundry area is really great because it has three vending machines and then five washing machines and six dryers for you to do your laundry. Um, something important to note is that you need to log into your student accounts, put money in to make sure that you can pay for your laundry. So now, So now I'm super excited to show you one more of the many study lounges that we have in Muse Hall. Um, this is our purple study lounge. And it is a great place for you to have group study sessions and things like that with other residents of either North Campus or Muse Hall or the Loving House community. Again, we have a whiteboard, table, and some couches for you to relax on. Um, the next part of our journey is the Loving House kitchen. So the Loving House kitchen is only accessible to residents of the Loving House. However, these residents do not worry. There is a full kitchen on each of your floors. Um, but if you're interested in knowing more about the Loving House Lounge, again, thanks to our amazing alumni, we were able to provide our students with a lot of cooking supplies, a water heater, and a curing machine that is fully stocked and ready for Loving House residents to utilize. year student living here, I encourage you to visit our campus groups page at cornell.campusgroups.com slash MLH, which stands for Mies and Loving House. You can also feel free to email me at tv533 at cornell.edu. I'm super excited to get to meet all of you when you move back to campus and looking forward to all the great things we're going to do together.